Jovalim Jubilees 6. And on the new moon of the third month, he went forth from the ark and built an altar on that mountain. And he made atonement for the earth and took a kid and made atonement by its blood for all the guilt of the earth. For everything that had been on it had been destroyed, save those that were in the ark with Noah. And he placed the fat thereof on the altar, and he took an ox and a goat and a sheep and kids and salt and a turtle dove and the young of a dove and placed a burnt sacrifice on the altar, and poured thereon an offering mingled with oil, and sprinkled wine, and strewed frankincense over everything, and caused a goodly savor to arise, acceptable before Yahuwah. And Yahuwah smelled the goodly savor, and he cut a covenant with that there should be rather, should not be any more a flood to destroy the earth. That all the days of the earth, seed time and harvest should never cease, cold and heat and summer and winter and day and night should not change their order nor cease forever. And you increase ye and multiply upon the earth and become many upon it, and be a blessing upon it. The fear of you and the dread of you I will inspire in everything that is on the earth and in the sea. And behold, I have given unto you all beasts and all winged things and everything that moves on the earth and the fish in the waters and all things for food as the green herbs. I have given you all things to eat but flesh with the life thereof, with the blood, ye shall not eat. For the life of all flesh is in the blood, lest your blood of your lives be required. At the hand of every man, at the hand of every beast, will I require the blood of man. Whoso sheds man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of Elohim made he man. And you increase ye and multiply on the earth. And Noach and his sons swore that they would not eat any blood that was in any flesh. And he cut a covenant before Yahuwah Elohim forever throughout all the generations of the earth in this month. On this account he spoke to you that you should cut a covenant with the children of Yashadael in this month upon the mountain with an oath, and that you should sprinkle blood upon them because of all the words of the covenant which Yahuwah cut with them forever. And this testimony is written concerning you that you should should observe it continually so that you should not eat on any day any blood of beasts or birds or cattle during all the days of the earth. And the man who eats the blood of beast or of cattle or of birds during all the days of the earth, he and his seed shall be rooted out of the land. And do you command the children of Yashadael, to eat no blood, so that their names and their seed may be before Yahuwah, Eloheinu, continually. And for this Torah, there is no limit of days, for it is forever. They shall observe it throughout their generations, so that they may continue supplicating on your behalf with blood before the altar every day and at the time of morning and evening they shall seek forgiveness on your behalf perpetually before yahuwah 
that they may guard it and not be rooted out. And he gave to Noah and his sons a sign that there should not again be a flood on the earth. He set his bow in the cloud for a sign of the eternal covenant that there should not again be a flood on the earth to destroy it all the days of the earth. For this reason it is ordained and written on the heavenly tablets that they should celebrate the feast of Shavuot in this month once a year to renew the covenant every year. And this whole feast was celebrated in heaven from the day of creation till the day of Noah, 26 jubilees and five weeks of years. And Noah and his sons observed it for seven jubilees, and one week of years, till the day of Noah's death. And from the day of Noah's death, his sons did away with it, until the days of Avraham. And they ate blood, But Avraham observed it, and Yitzhak, and Yaakov, and his children observed it, up to your days. And in your days the children of Yashadael forgot it, until ye celebrated it anew on this mountain. And do you command the children of Yashadael to observe this feast in all their generations for a commandment unto them. One day in the year in this month they shall celebrate the feast. For it is the feast of Shavuot and the feast of firstfruits of the wheat harvest. This feast is twofold and of a double nature according to what is written and engraven concerning it, celebrate it. For I have written in the Sefer of the first Torah, in that which I have written for you, that you should celebrate it in its season, one day in the year. And I explained to you its sacrifices, that the children of Yashara'el should remember and should celebrate it throughout their generations in this month, one day in every year. And on the new moon of the first month, and on the new moon of the fourth month, and on the new moon of the seventh month, and on the new moon of the tenth month, are the days of remembrance and the days of the seasons in the four divisions of the year. These are written and ordained as a testimony forever. And Noah ordained them for himself as feasts for the generations forever, so that they have become thereby a memorial unto him. And on the new moon of the first month, he was bidden to make for himself an ark. And on that day, the earth became dry, and he opened the ark and saw the earth. And on on the new moon of the fourth month, the mouths of the depths of the abyss beneath were closed. And on the new moon of the seventh month, all the mouths of the abysses of the earth were opened, and the waters began to descend into them. And on the new moon of the tenth month, the tops of the mountains were seen, and Noah was glad. And on this account he ordained them for himself as feasts for a memorial forever, and thus are they ordained. And they placed them on the heavenly tablets. Each had thirteen weeks, from one to another, past their memorial, from the first to the second, and from the second to the third, and from the third to the fourth. And 
All the days of the commandment will be two and fifty weeks of days, and these will make the entire year complete. Thus it is engraven and ordained on the heavenly tablets. And there is no neglecting this commandment for a single year or from year to year. And command you, the children of Yashadael, that they observe the years according to this reckoning, 364 days, and these will constitute a complete year. And they will not disturb its time from its days and from its feasts, for everything will fall out in them according to their testimony, and they will not leave out any day nor disturb any feasts. But if they do neglect and do not observe them according to his commandment, then they will disturb all their seasons and the years will be dislodged from this order. And they will disturb the seasons and the years will be dislodged and they will neglect their ordinances. And all the children of Yashadael will forget and will not find the path of the years, and will forget the new moons, and seasons, and Shabbatot, and they will go wrong as to all the order of the years. For I know, and from henceforth will I declare it unto you, and it is not of my own devising, for the Sefer lies written before me. And on the heavenly tablets, the division of days is ordained, lest they forget the feasts of the covenant and walk according to the feasts of the other nations after their error and after their ignorance. For there will be those who will assuredly make observations of the moon, how it disturbs the seasons and comes in from year to year, ten days too soon. For this reason, the years will come upon them when they will disturb the order and make an abominable day the day of testimony and an unclean day a feast day and they will confound all the days, the holy with the unclean, and the unclean with the holy, for they will go wrong as to the months and Shabbatot and feasts and jubilees. For this reason I command and testify to you that you may testify to them. For after your death, your children will disturb them so that they will not make the year 364 days only and for this reason, they will go wrong as to the new moons and seasons and Shabbatot and feasts, and they will eat all kinds of blood with all kinds of flesh.